Hello and welcome to Celebrity Trends. If it's your first time, please hit the subscribe button and click on the bell for more amazing news on your favorite celebrities. The simple statement from Prince William makes Harry look like a hypocritical idiot. Hello and welcome to the channel. There is something so delicious about the implied shade thrown at someone who deserves it, and this time, it's Prince William directly shading his brother, Prince Harry. Indeed, I have talked about how Harry and Meghan are a couple of hypocrites who tell us that we need to reduce our carbon footprint while they do nothing of the sort. I mean, they actually pollute as much as possible with their love for gas-guzzling SUVs and private jets, but anyway, we are not the only ones who have noticed this. According to reports from GB News, Prince William's Kensington Palace seems to have taken a swipe at Prince Harry in a recent statement. Prince Charles will never ask people not to take flights or not to travel by car in relation to climate change. A spokesperson for William said, of course, William would never do such a thing because William is not an absolute hypocrite. William knows that most of us are trying to reduce our carbon footprint whenever we can, but the problem is that as individuals, we don't have a lot of power. Unfortunately, we don't really have a choice to take the car to work, many people simply live too far from their workplace to go by bike, for example, and as for making our homes more energy efficient by installing solar panels or something like that, who has the money to pay for renovations when we struggle to pay our heating bill every month? Luckily, at least one of these princes is not an absolute hypocrite, unfortunately, it's the prince who will one day be king. The spokesperson for Kensington Palace stated, the Earthshot Prize is about finding innovative solutions that will help change the future direction of the planet, and what the Earthshot Prize will never do is tell people not to take flights or not to travel by car. At this stage, we've all had enough of these big cats, these big corporations telling us that we have to change our ways of doing something to help the planet. Well, what about them? Why are they allowed to continue abusing our planet's resources and only make money for themselves without needing to change, but we are supposed to always buy paper straws that disintegrate in our drinks, we are supposed to ride a bike somewhere instead of driving in our car. I mean, it's all upside down, but it seems that William understands. The statement from Kensington Palace also declared, we are not looking back at the ice age, we are looking forward to the green age. It is really important that instead of focusing on prevention, we can focus on opportunity. William is truly a godsend, I mean, his Earthshot Prize is exactly what we need in the world right now. Instead of just talking a lot, William puts his money where his mouth is and does so much work to find new solutions to the problem of climate change. This article also reminds us of what Harry said in 2019. He said, I spend 99% of my life traveling around the world on commercial planes. It's a bigger lie than I've ever heard. What was he talking about? I'm not exactly sure what his private jet flights looked like back then, but today, he never flies commercial. Come on, he and Meghan use every existing excuse to take a private jet as often as possible. In 2019, Harry said that occasionally, there had to be a unique circumstance to take a private plane in order to ensure the safety of his family. It's as simple as that. He continued by saying, for me, it's about balance. It's not a decision I would want to take, but if I have to, I will ensure to balance the impact I have. What a load of rubbish. What is he talking about? How exactly is Harry supposed to balance the impact he has? A simple Google search will tell you that a private jet emits at least 10 times more pollutants per passenger than a commercial airplane, and to make matters worse, emissions have increased by over 23% since the use of private jets has increased by one-fifth since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic. So, please, Harry, explain to us how you're going to offset that. Apparently, Meghan and Harry also burn nearly 10 tons of carbon after flying to the Caribbean for a vacation using a private jet. I was curious to know exactly how much 10 tons of carbon represents, so I did a little research and I will share with you what I found. Let's talk about it in terms of things we all do. So, 10 tons of carbon is the same as eating 1380 meat-based meals. It's the same as flying from Paris to New York five times round trip on a commercial flight. I mean, how the hell is Harry supposed to offset that? Is he just supposed to stay at home for a year? Is he only going to eat vegetarian meals? Even that won't be enough to offset 10 tons of carbon. Why does he think it's okay? 
Thanks for watching. Till next time on Celebrity Trends.